Welcome to beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, baby. It's the entertainment capital of the world, but it is quickly becoming the sports capital. And tonight we got playoff hoops here in Vegas. We are getting set to tip it up. First ever meeting between Boston College and UNLV, and the Rebels have won the tip. You may think Post has an advantage against Whaley, but he's played against bigger guys in the Mountain West and has held his own. Here's Mason Madsen. He's a sharpshooter. He nails the first three. John, both of these two teams really wanted to be here and really want to get to the next round. Let's be real. When you get to the NIT, it's all about who still wants to play. And Keelan Boone is not trying to end his career. That's why he's able to stretch the defense at seven feet tall. There's the sensational freshman missing his first shot, but the tip in for Deedon Thomas Jr. He is fearless. I mean, he goes into the crowd. He's able to elevate. He protects the ball. He's a very special player. Post on the deck with the runner. He has so many moves at seven feet tall, Coach. He really does. I mean, he's not just a pick and pop guy. We see that he can put the ball on the floor, and certainly offensively, he's who Boston College really likes to go through and set everybody else up. Boone, he's a tough matchup at 6'9", because he can do things like that. He told me without a question our defense. With the blow by and the floater, Justin Webster. Hello. Inside they go in the post. Boone trying to bang adjustment and his hook shot goes. I like a hot the, start for UNLV. I like the way Boone creates space there. Um, he really does a good job. He's not overly big or strong, but he's very quick and he's very skilled. Zachary puts an end to the 7-0 run for UNLV. The Boston College players are not necessarily great one-on-one -on -one players, but they really work hard off of action and get this shot. The about degree action. of difficulty <laughs> on that shot by Thomas, that was a 10. Talk about action right there. The young fella is fearless. He played just over five minutes here in this first half. Post is stuck, but he finds a way to put it up and in. Uh, not only is he on the floor, he's, make, he's making a point and being a factor. Nice pass inside. Zachary lays it in for Boston College. And UNLV is not oversized in any way, shape, or form. And they're more athletic than they are tall. And But they play so well together. Here's Keelan Poole. Knocks down the three. And Thomas and Max Center is alive here in Vegas. You know, this UNLV team does not like to necessarily run, but Boston College is going to have to do a better job in transition defense and picking guys up. Cardell Harris Jr. silences the crowd. He had 17 points in the win over Providence. Harris, mid-range jumper. The off offensive rebound goes to the Eagles. Matson on the drive off the mark, but Post is there. Second team all ACC this season for Boston College. Boston College is going back to their sets and trying to get something out of their sets where they can get some movement and some cutting and get easy baskets. Nice pass by Quentin Post finding Elijah Strong. Now, Earl Grant, head coach, said, when Post gives us five or more assists a game, we feel like we're going to win every single time. Well, that's because he's getting guys involved. He's getting guys baskets that may not be able to do it one-on-one. -on -one. Stopping on a dime. What a shot by Deedon Thomas, Jr. Coming out of high school, he was a top 25 player in the country. He was a huge get for this UNLV program, and it feels like he's making the running Rebels cool again. Well, he is, and he enjoys being here. He's a really polite young man, and he's excited for the opportunity. Co-Mountain West Freshman of the Year. There's a huge block by Carl Jones. Prince of League Bay with a pick and roll. That one is batted away. There goes Jackie Johnson, the third, and he lays it in. Look at the ball can't be penetrated. And then they come up with a steal, and they're able to finish. That's how you get easy baskets. Under seven minutes to play in this first half. Post, kick out, McLaughlin nails the three. Post will launch from three and knocks it down. The co-Mountain West Freshman of the Year. 
Inside with Whaley, immediately kick out. Watson, three ball, got it. Post pushed out by Whaley. And a good rebound inside by McLaughlin. That's what he can do. He can rebound that ball, and he gets him another shot. Mason Madsen knocks down the three, his second of the game. Whaley says, get off me. <laughs> now the big fella's going to bang. No call. Kick out. And the three falls. Keelan Boone. The refs are letting them play, and we love it. McLaughlin being 50% from downtown right now. Well, they're getting really good space. And Zachary will push it up into the front court. Madsen, bang, bang. His third three of the game. There's three minutes to play in this first half. Zachary gets by his man off the window and in. Madsen's had the hot hand, but a block. Caleb Boone, and then a foul on the rebound. Here's Dedon Thomas stopping on a dime. Boone with the up and under, blocked by Post, his second block of the game. Uh -oh. And Boone, Boone is down the behind the play. UNLV takes it away, but Boone is still slow. Thomas pull up jumper and it rattles in. 20 more minutes to decide who gets a trip to the quarterfinals and a trip to Seton Hall. Here's Harris, quick release. Man, that's him with three threes in that first half. You got to stay up on him if you're UNLV. Post with some open room, missing the jumper, but McLaughlin is there for the putback. That's what he does well. There's Thomas rising up. Kevin Kruger said when he stepped on campus, we knew he was good. We didn't know just how good he was going to be. He was way ahead of schedule when he started with the Rebels. His range, I think, is the thing that has surprised people because he really can shoot the three as well as drive the basketball. The lane opens up as Elijah Strong lays it in. A two-point lead for Boston College. Thomas, mid-range jumper. The freshman, he's starting to feel it. Could tell he wanted to pull that off the inbound. Crowd thought he dragged his foot, but Boone gets the steal anyway. Ahead of the pack. He took it upon himself to come to UNLV because he wants to get something started here. Webster, the runner, and it falls over the seven-footer post. Boone wants the isolation, and the skip pass is picked off by Strong. Strong, one-on-one, -on -one, in and uh, out. What a move. Elijah Strong to the bucket. Two for Boston College. Well, it did. Strong right there. Does a great job handling the basketball. Watch him keep his head up. Great finish at the rim. But he said Zachary for his defensive intensity, what he brings to us. Caleb Boone trying to get something going. The hook shot goes. They got what they call Gucci Row here at the <laughs> Thomas and Mack Center. The first court side row of seats across from the bench. Rising up, Keelan Boone knocks down the three. Ready to get sped up because Johnson's in the game. He finds Harris curling. And inside the post and he puts it in for two more. What a shot for Johnson. He is instant energy when he comes off the bench. Now, do, do they give him the basket or they give him a tip? Strong pulling up in the lane off the mark. Caleb Boone has the iso. The double comes. He kicks it out. Johnson fakes the pass. Nobody <laughs> picks him up. So he gets an easy floater in the lane. Five on the shot clock. And it's taken away by Whaley. Challenge, and he still finishes at the rim. The big man going coast to coast. Yeah, I, he is so nimble on his feet, and that's what gives him the ability to play bigger post guys. Evan Kruger said, our identity is guarding people. 
Well, they're getting after the Eagles right now. Look at that block by Boone. Madsen no good. Tipped out. And guess who? Jackie Johnson the third. Thomas throws it up to Boone, who corrals it. Three on the shot clock, trying to create space from the NIT logo. Oh! Oh! The bank is open! This is what I'm saying. Boone is able to elevate. See the way he elevates? I mean, from a standstill position. Uh, John, that is awful difficult to do, and that's what got him behind earlier in the game. Thomas off the penetration, dishing, and the easy flush! Whenever Boston College drives the ball, they're doubling it. That's oh, a tough shot. Oh, what a shot. big shot by Harris. Johnson's calling for it back, trying to get it inside. They go to Boone. This is Caleb. The Boone brothers are taking over. Too much space. Too much space that time. He jabbed the post, post backed up. You got to go inside right now, I think. Oh, spin move, met with a double. Did not hit the rim, shot clock's at seven, and the three falls for Devin. Whaley from the elbow. It's Webster nailing the three. Boston College has something special here with head coach Earl Grant. Here goes Post, shot from the corner, it goes. Five-point lead when they beat Princeton in the first round. It was their first postseason win in 16 years. Now they go back to back in the postseason. A 79-70 win over Boston College as UNLV will advance to the quarterfinals of the NIT and will take on Seton Hall.